a Plaguelands Media production. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media bringing you another book review today, so cheers to that. Oh, I'm going to love wild turkey, especially on a Sunday. Today I'm bringing you a book review of the Richard Lehman novel All Hallows Eve. Now some of you who are watching this channel, who have followed my book reviews, are going to be rolling your eyes at this point, going, why is he reading fucking trash like this? Granted, Richard Lehman is not the greatest horror author in the world. Uh, when you compare him to authors like Stephen King, Dean Koontz, even uh, British horror authors like um, Graham Masterton, Sean Hudson, James Herbert, that kind of thing. The reason I love Richard Lehman is because Richard Lehman was pretty much the first horror author I ever got into when I was growing up. Uh, the first horror novel that I ever really read was one of his books called Darkness Tell Us. Um, All Hallows Eve is strange in that it doesn't really follow the Richard Lehman formula for horror novels. In as much as it reads more like a Christopher Pike, young adult um, story. Although there are some pretty graphic uh, details in here. And of course, as is true with all Richard Lehman novels, there is a hefty dose of sex in this book. But there you have it. Uh, this is going to be a spoiler-filled review, so if you don't want to know what happens, just know that I really fucking enjoyed it. I had a great time with this book, as I do with every Richard Lehman novel I read. And go and jump to one of my other videos. They are all fucking awesome. But if you want to know what goes on in All Hallows Eve, stick around for the next episode of... Read a fucking book. 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 People. Okay, so I'm just going to get the negative out of the way first. And the negative of this book is the fact that it's obvious. From about a quarter of the way through the novel, it's obvious who the killer is going to be. It's obvious what is going on. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, when it comes to your horror novels, yeah, you don't want that kind of factor in a good horror novel. You want to be surprised all the way up to the end. You want a good twist at the end. This book doesn't have that twist. There is a twist. It's lame, but it's there. It's obvious in the way that a slasher movie is obvious. If you've watched a lot of slasher films, especially those from the 1980s, because this is an old book. Um, this book was published way, way, way back in the day. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. You know where the jump scares are going to be. You know who's going to live. You know who's going to die. That's the problem with this book. Is it a major factor in not reading it? Fuck no, this is a fun read. This is this is great. So the main character, in as much as I would like to say he's the main character, is this boy called Eric. Uh, Eric is living with his mother, uh, a single mum, who's trying to raise him. Eric's bullied at school, not only by the students, but by the teachers as well. There is an incident uh, very early on where the vice principal makes him do push-ups in the boys' toilets where there's piss on the floor or some weird shit like that. A lot of that kind of stuff happens in Richard Lehman novels. You just learn to get over it. Uh, Eric, we find out, is the product of rape. His mother was raped when she was 16 and she kept the baby. So he... You like to think at the beginning he's a misunderstood kid. He's not. He's a fucking psychopath. And that's because his dad's a psychopath. So kind of the sins of the father carry on. The other main character is a cop called Sam. Sam is dating Eric's mother. Now, the reason Sam becomes the main character is because in the very first chapter, which is one of the best first chapters in a horror novel 
I have read in a long, long time. The sheriff gets called to this house to investigate and ends up getting brutally fucking murdered along with the next door neighbor who called him to the house. That's the Sherwood house where 15 years ago, a massacre happened. So already you've got haunted house, um, small town, sheriff's missing, the, the houses around this house, like the, the elderly woman is murdered, another family, the house burns to the ground and all that kind of stuff. So you've got kind of that happening. It's coming close to Halloween. One of the popular girls in school is throwing a Halloween party, but everyone is getting an invitation to a Halloween party at the Sherwood house, this, this house where this massacre happened. So you've got these kind of conflicting storylines and that's where the teen drama stuff uh, comes into it. Now, I'm sorry to say Richard Lehman does not write teen drama very well. Um, his other books that deal with more adult stuff, they're a lot better. The teen drama stuff, it, it's like a horror movie version of Dawson's Creek. It just doesn't work all that well. Still fun though, still worth a read. So, ultimately, we find out that, uh, well, through the investigation of, of the murder of the, of the sheriff, Sam meets this girl called Melanie who works at a, um, like a motor inn, a motor lodge kind of uh, place, motel, so to speak. And while he's dating Eric's mother and he proposes to her, he's having these sexual thoughts about the the girl at the, um, at the motor inn. The reason he goes to the motor inn is because the sheriff's ex-wife is back in town and they suspect her of murdering him, which is this plot thread that just goes fucking nowhere. But it doesn't matter because it's all part of the story. We ultimately come to the night of Halloween and... Um, we find out that Eric is the one that gave the Halloween invitations out to people. And he is the one that organizes Halloween party with his father, who is back in town and ready to seek revenge on everyone that has ever tormented Eric, teachers included, and uh, other people as well. So the Halloween party goes off. Teenagers die, people die, it's a whole big thing. And then the big surprise twist at the end is Sam the cop, who was engaged to Eric's mother, is now sleeping with the girl from the motor inn. Yep. That is all Hallow's Eve. Now, as far as Richard Lehman goes, one of his weaker novels, in my personal opinion, it was a fun read, nothing really happens after chapter one until about three quarters through the book. But it's still interesting enough and Richard layman -y enough to kind of get you going. So there is that to it. But there you have it. Richard Lehman, All Hallows Eve. If you're not a fan of horror, you will not like this. If you're not a fan of bad writing, you will not like this. Oh, there were so many spelling mistakes through this book. The editor needs to you know get a new job which he probably has because this was an old an old novel but there you have it this has been another book look richard layman all hallows eve if you enjoyed the video like subscribe leave a comment do all that good stuff hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos but most importantly stay safe everyone have a fantastic rest of your day and of course read a fucking book people